Welcome back. Our short reprieve from the bitter cold this weekend may feel like a heat wave, but have you ever wondered why some hardy Minnesotans never get cold no matter how low the temps go? Or why some people are always cold even in the middle of summer? I'm one of those. Dr. Frank Rame is a primary care physician with Alina Health. He is here to tell us why some people, it's cold in here, isn't it? Yeah. Seem to handle the Arctic chill better than others and what we can all do, do to stay safe and warm during and this avoid winter. Avoid that frostbite, which is a big problem. That is. Dr. Yeah. Rame, we yeah. do appreciate you being here, but let's talk about that. Why do some of us react so differently to, to cold and to, to warm weather? So it, it may be one of the big things is the ratio of your surface area to your, to your uh, volume. So a sphere doesn't get very cold, but a long bean pole gets real cold because there's just not much tissue there to, to keep warm a big expanse of flesh. So it does, it can come down to weight and, and age plays a role as well. And, and how that weight is distributed. If it's, if it's compacted, it, you don't lose as much heat. If it's spread out, you do. How do you know when to uh, seek medical help if you are experiencing hot flashes or chills for a long period of time? Well, if you, actually, if you actually have a temperature on top of those chills, that's a big deal. And you, you want to make sure that doesn't happen. If you have sweats, chills, and a temperature, get attention promptly. If you just have that sensation of getting hot and cold without, without having big sweats, that may be just that you have too much blanket on or, or you're, not, you're letting the house get too cold. What about temp temperature fluctuations in the forecast that we see? Even this week, we'll see some of that. We'll be up to 40 degrees uh, midweek. I think a lot of people think that they can get sick uh, after cold and then uh, very warm weather. Is that true? So the, the cold compacts us. It brings us together, and that makes it easier for the bugs to get around between us. But it, it, they've actually done experiments to throw cold water on, on the military, and uh, they didn't get more colds hmm. when, they, when they subject them to cold weather. So that could just be yeah. in our heads yeah. as well. Yeah, well, it's that, it's that compaction. An individual cold doesn't seem to hurt, but when it gets cold, we all get in this huddle together and can spread our germs amongst ourselves. <laughs> as we do in the newsroom <laughs> yeah. again and again this time of year. You did mention uh, hypothermia, doctor, at the beginning um, of the interview here, and it doesn't take uh, long for there to be a real da danger if you are outside and exposed to the elements. So we're terrified about the Super Bowl week coming up, uh, and. Uh, we're worried because it's a million people who don't, who are not going to come with adequate clothing, who are going to be drinking till four o'clock in the morning, who are men and they don't know their limitations as well as women do, uh, who have no clue what what the danger of 10 below is. So we hope it's not even down below five. And of course, we'll have to wait to see what the forecast is for the Super Bowl. But it's probably yeah. a good idea to be looking out for these out of towners oh, right. who've never experienced this All right. before. All right. So so the hospital uh, disaster preparedness people are quite worried about what might happen. Okay. We will see. I'm going to go uh, put my blanket back on. Thank you, Dr. Rain. <laughs> we pleasure. appreciate yeah. it. Happy winter to, okay. to you. Mm -hmm.